Hello folks, my name is Marvel Master and I welcome you to the Witcher 3 modding tutorial series. So this is going to be a few videos about Witcher 3 modding and today I want to start with the modding tools you will need for modding Witcher 3. So let's start. First you're gonna need the official mod kit of Witcher 3, the official Witcher, Witcher 3 mod tools. Don't worry, everything I explain here I will post a link to the download below the video. So let's go on. The Witcher 3 official mod kit is required for every or nearly every modding you want to do in Witcher 3 because it uh, provides um, the VCC light. This is basically a text-based uh, program to pack and unpack the Witcher 3 files. So this is basically the first thing you need to install. Because it's text-based, it's uh, really difficult to work with it, in my opinion. That's why some uh, cool modder named uh, Vervurex, Vervurex created the Mod Kitchen, which is the next tool I want to explain to you. Mod Kitchen is basically just a UI for the official uh, mod kit. Here you can uh, uncook meaning extract your files and uh, once you have done this and edited your files you can just build a mod which means you will have packed all your modded files into a mod folder which is basically very easy very easier than uh, using VCC Lite um, text based command line so this is the mod kitchen. So next uh, is going to be um, the notepad++. It's just a more or less simple text editor but with uh, you see some colors in it. With it you can easily uh, edit um, the Witcher 3 text files like XML or WS files. You uh, also could uh, open these files with uh, just a uh, normal editor, but um, the color helps you, or the color of Notepad++ helps you editing these files. So let's go on to the Ford tool. This is a very special tool. It's called the Mod Editor by Southam. Um It basically is a very, very good tool for um, extracting, editing and packing files in one program. So for example, you don't have to uncook um, your game files, you just um, can add a file from the uh, game folder. I've added here a red fur file for example of the Witcher 3 and you can edit there a kind of many parameters for instance color and then just click on pack and install mod and a mod folder will create it directly into your mods folder. So this is basically the easiest tool of all for modding. And um, let's go on to the fifth tool. The fifth tool is the um, debug console. Um, the debug console you can uh, download from Nexus mods or from the download link I will provide below the video. The debug console basically um, adds a console to the Witcher 3 game. So if I hit the F2 button now inside the game, a console will appear and here you can um, 
input a bunch of commands. This commands you for example find on a special website of MMO Game EU. Um, here you will find thousands of commands for spawning items, spawning monsters, spawning enemies, leveling up and a lot of cheating. Let's uh, for example look if you can spawn a griffin armor or griffin sword. S here we get it add item griffin school steel sword. I copied it and now I paste it just into the console debug hit enter and into my inventory I got a sword of course a modded sword and uh, therefore the bug console is very very helpful at some times so that's basically it for today now you know uh, what tools you will need for modding and I would say um, if you like this video please uh, show it below the video give me a like button and uh, if you got any suggestions or questions um, just um, ask in the comment section and I would say we we'll see us in the next video